have, but then we need some place to stick it after we load it. Hmm. Interesting case scenario. So, a weapon setup. Well, Yeah. Weapon setup probably should um, load it and instantiate it. It would be okay if the player could move around for a few seconds before his weapon spawned in a loading scene. Of course. It would not be ideal. But we're definitely probably going to have some type of class that we're going to have to push something to. And making pickups with the XML file would be very easy because all we have to do is load the class itself. Or just make a class and then push it to our player. Which then the player would just instantiate. You know, then you'd have two things in memory, but you always got to track it anyway. So, could we possibly get a component for the classes? Of course, it can't be a mono, so you can't do a get component. Wouldn't that be the case? But you could always deserialize and load it, in, you know, but then it would be like a huge garbage garbage collection. Huh? It would be. Huge. So, hmm. so even if we used this to set up our weapons, which we'll use that, yeah, why not? It's not that bad. Use this to. We're gonna make a. We should probably make this a protected. Protected. Void. Um. What could the save? We'll probably change this later anyway. And we'll put the serializer in there. And then we'll put my loading method in. Yeah, yeah. We'll just copy this whole thing. Why not? It's not like it's going to do anything different. We'll refactor it the way we need. Not like anybody, and we'll just make this public for now. So we have it saving, and it's going to do all this data stuff. Well, kind of. So we're gonna need an example of this, and because this doesn't have it. Ooh, that's right. This doesn't have certain things like that. And the thing that we're going to be saving isn't this, it's going to be weapon object. 
for the XML. And this is going to be for FPS roughings. And we will make sure that it does the same thing here as well. Okay. And what do we think about this? Yeah. This will be our serializer. So let this compile possibly. Uh, no, it won't compile for the crap anyway because of these. And we need a data container anyway. <coughs> All right. Yeah, we do instantiate a new version of this. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's right. But we won't instantiate that type. We'll be instantiating this type. Okay. And that will be our data class. But what type of thing we'll be doing up here? Will it be an array of game objects? Actually, crap. I've done this wrong. I can't serialize from this class because it's mono. Well, that just sucks. That's got to make me think again. And then I got to put a value into it. Yeah, that's going to make it very strange. So that almost makes me feel like I should just push a list to it and then have it save the list. But creating a new list like that and copying it, wouldn't that be pretty substantial in the garbage collector? Hmm. Well, wait a minute, I don't think it'll do a list. Let's see if it'll do a list. Public list. G oh gotta put a thing in here let's say vector threes wait let's let's not do that let's just go ahead and put weapon objects it's gonna be a weapon object wait we can have ah uh, can I I think I can have the serialization here, but I can't have the class. Let's let's try it and see what happens. I can't bring Orson like completely mess up new list weapon objects and we instantiate it this way. And we 
go data dot whoa that's right crummy because it's a list of weapon oh yeah 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 Okay, that's that's going to be terrible, terrible. So we're going to have to do something else with this. Let's just make it weapon saver and it will be a class like this. And all this class is going to be responsible for it doing a public list of weapon objects. Call it To save for now, and we need to save it. And instead of serializing something like this, we go in and we go data not weapon object. We go into here, we paste this, and this. And now we have access to data dot to save equals it's a list of weapon objects. Ooh. Would it serialize that way? Well, a list. Weapon objects. Okay, yeah, 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 it'll save that way. And we will go equals this dot G. Okay. Now we have it this way, and I know that's going to throwing me some pain in the butt ears because it's probably not closed okay now let's see now it's going to create a file in the saver let me saver and then it serializes the data okay there we go make sure it's saved before we go into the compiler Man, I wish that kid didn't break my stand thing. That stinks. That's okay. It's okay. Now, where did we put this? G save damage my game object. Why is it still got help? Oh, wait. What? Weapon setup. Oh, we've got a completely different script. That's why. Okay, weapon setup is a mono and it's called G, which honestly I should have picked a different game. Uh, man, it's kind of redundant. Everything's named G A. It's not exactly typical. Let's put three in here. Okay. Oh. That's right. Ooh. We're going to have to put stuff in there. Wait a minute. Why do I have to put stuff in there again? Because it's a scriptable object instead of a class one? Is that why? Yes, that's probably why.